tonight, developing news from Britain. Former Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced that he will not run again to lead his governing Conservative Party. He was ousted in July amid ethics scandals and had been expected to run to replace Liz Truss. Finance Minister Rishi Sunak is now the leading contender to be Britain's next prime minister, its third this year. Well, today, China's Communist Party gave President Xi Jinping an unprecedented third term as leader, and Xi wasted no time flexing his new muscle. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer reports. It was staged as a big reveal. Please join me in a warm applause to welcome the General Secretary and other political bureau standing committee members. But it was no surprise that Xi Jinping was confirmed as chairman of China's Communist Party. He'll now begin an unprecedented third term as, in effect, China's supreme leader. And as for the six men, and yes, they are all men, who serve in the inner circle of the Politburo, every one of them is a Xi loyalist and none of them a potential successor. That shows he's amassed more power than any Chinese leader since Mao Zedong. Xi Jinping has also now formalized one of his political priorities with a change to China's constitution. It's been amended to explicitly oppose Taiwan's independence. It ratchets up the potential for conflict with the United States, which, with its main allies, Japan and South Korea, has been flexing military muscle in the region to counter Xi's increasingly assertive policies. Closing chapters of this ultra choreographed party congress, one awkward incident drew much attention. Two aides appear to remove Xi Jinping's predecessor, Hu Jintao, from the front row. Hu appears confused, even to resist, while Xi Jinping shows zero sympathy. Was the 79 year old Hu unwell, or was it some kind of political power play? We'll probably never know as the incident has already been scrubbed from Chinese TV and social media. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Tokyo.